Hi, today I'd like to show you a very simple 12 bar blues exercise that will get you picking a steady bass all the way through your 12 bar. I'm tuned to G, G, D, G. I'll play it for you pretty slow. So I'm just using a thumb and one finger. And this is a, a bona fide picking technique, um, just as popular as a three finger technique. And it's, but it's much easier for what we're doing. Plus there's a couple things you can do with it that you can't do with three fingers. And the first thing that comes to mind is you can brush across the strings. So you can add in this middle string anytime you want and it naturally comes out that the melody note comes out louder because your finger is hitting weaker as it hits the middle string. So it's a technique that's really really easy to do and, uh, and just works out naturally. Uh, the other thing that's uh, really good about it is you can get really really fast. Because you're just using two fingers. Anyway, uh, the song itself, it uh, has a steady bass following the 12 bar pattern. Four measures of the one chord, which is G. One, two, three, four. I won't play through the whole thing like that. Two measures of the four chord on the fifth fret up here. Same thing, there's a steady quarter note bass through everything. One, two, three, four. And of course, back to the one up to the five chord on the seventh fret, which is D, back to the four chord, which is C. So it's following the exact um, 12 bar pattern, if you will. And the turnaround, it just hits the uh, five chord once, which is on the seventh fret. Now I'm not throwing in any of that stuff I mentioned, I'm just doing it real simple. Now how you make it work is, finger picking is often an illusion. Um, a lot of people think you learn the bass line, then you learn the lead line, then you try to put them together. Uh, you can kind of do that, but what's better is to realize that you've got a quarter note bass. No, sounds like a little more. I guess I left my echo on. But anyway, you get the idea. One, two, three, four. So your choice is to either pinch or play in between on the and. One, and, two, and, three. So our melody starts on an and. It's one and, and then the two is a pinch. And then the next note is an and. And then that's the three. That's an and again. And then four is a pinch. So your melody is and, two, and, three, and, four. Pinch, and, and, pinch. That's all there is to to that. Pinch and and pinch. And your thumb is just playing steady. When you speed it up, it sounds like your thumb is doing the work and you're playing on top of it. I think I threw in a couple extra thumbs there. Hopefully you get the idea. When we go to the four chord, up on the fifth fret, we just go one and two and 
three and, and then the four is the bass, but we don't play the and on the end of the bass. That keeps it having a semblance of melody. And it emphasizes the fact that you're playing a steady bass. One and two and three. One, two and three and four. Like that. Up to the five, we do exactly the same thing. Down to the four. Now here we do one thing different. We do uh, the first of the uh, one chord, the same, and then for the turnaround, let's go up here. Now you can alter this any way you want. You can, uh, once you get good at it, you want to start throwing in the 12th fret. You know, you just start messing around with it, and you don't have to stick on it. Mind you, you do need to keep this as a bass note, so that's kind of important. You don't have to necessarily pick between each, each one, as long as you keep that going. And of course you can do that too, you can hit the note, pinch, slide to the and, and then pinch again. Like that. You can expand upon it in many ways, and don't forget you can brush upwards, so you get a chord. And a little bit more volume apparently. Anyway, I hope that helps you get started on picking your own bass with the blues. Have a great day. Bye.